Hello, uh, today we're going to be showing you some quick demos of our senior design project, the uh, NestDev uh, NES development cartridge. So, uh, just a quick overview here, we have uh, a USB connection on our cartridge and we're using a Atmega325 microcontroller to handle those communications and a uh, Lattice Mach XO2. CPLD as the uh, mapper operations and then we've got some SRAM uh, memories here and uh, flash and then we've got the uh, data buffers for programming and removing from the cartridge and level shifting down to 3 volts and a uh, kick chip and some parse plastic circuitry here so um, show some basic functionality here first we just go ahead and we can plug it into the console and uh, plug into USB and recognize so uh, the basic operation here is just open up our program here and we uh, load a file from the build so here we can test out a BNROM mapper and we just go ahead and open and write and while things are writing right now it's set up with the yellow light is on and uh, once it's complete green light turns on we can turn the console on and see that everything is operating here so this is just a uh, multi cartridge and uh, operating on the BNROM mapper. So basically, the uh, way we've got it is the CPLD is uh, configured for multiple mappers at the same time. So right now, uh, with our basic hierarchy here in uh, Lattice Diamond, uh, we've got all of our discrete mappers operational, and then we've also right now have MMC1 and FME 7. Uh, they're not currently working but the logic use is about what you would expect. Not much is going to change there and you can see that we're still uh, only using about 22 percent of our available logic here so all of these mappers are uh, programmed and the ones I'm showing you today are operational. Uh, so every time you update a current build of your game or anything like that you don't have to, and if you change mappers or anything you don't have to reload the uh, configure file for the CPLD it's just kind of a one time thing or if you generate a new mapper then you would upload that uh, so as far as showing the other mappers operational let me just go through here the requirement for the project is we had six and so we just have some discrete mappers operational right now uh, this is a color dreams mapper and this is Captain Comic working here. Um, show another mapper here. Just load it up. This is Battle Toads, an AN ROM mapper, or AO, whatever. Uh, you get some graphical glitches and stuff while it's programming, uh, even though the cartridge is electrically removed but once it's done you can just hit reset and basically you don't as far as uh, uploading a new build of the game that you're working on uh, you wouldn't even have to do too much the uh, you won't have to load the file as long as the, the name and location is the same as your last build uh, you just hit write and then once it's finished programming you can just hit reset but optionally you can if you want you can also power it off and select another game here this is an NROM mapper and once it's programming you just turn it on and test things out a um, couple more mappers to show here quick got CNROM just using Dig Dug to test this or sorry, TNC SERP designs for the CNROM mapper. And 
final one we've got here is GNROM. She's using thunder and lightning right now. You can hold the reset until you're done. Whatever you want to do, really. And so there we have some basic operation of some discrete mappers and circuitry as a whole. Uh, so we hoping to have some the MMC1 and FME7 working uh, in the next couple months here and show that once it happens. So uh, thanks a lot. Bye.